Hello. Please look at the blue circles and this short film will start in a few seconds. Welcome to this introduction to optical coherence tomography, also known as OCT. The first thing we need is a camera. For this demonstration, we will be using the Heidelberg Spectralis OCT scanner. The next thing we need is a patient. Firstly, ask the patient to come forward and place their chin on the chin rest and forehead against the bar. You may need to move the chin rest up or down in order to align the patient's eye with the red line on the headrest. Once the patient is comfortable, let them know that it's okay to blink during the test. Ask if they could please keep their head in position, then move the camera to the left hand side. During this demonstration, you will see an enlarged version of the touchscreen control pad to your right. Once activated, the screen will display your options. For this demonstration, we will be capturing a single line scan. So let's get started. Select the IR plus OCT button on the touchscreen. Then, whilst watching the live infrared image on the monitor, slowly move the camera forward until you get a clear image of the retina. If the image is too bright or too dark, adjust the black dial on the control pad to make it brighter or darker until you have an evenly illuminated image. Next, turn the focus dial on the back of the camera so the image is sharp. Then, move the camera closer to the eye until you see the scan appear in the right hand box on the monitor. Then, adjust the camera until the scan is in the center of the box. If the scan turns upside down, this means the camera is too close to the eye. Slowly move the camera back and the scan will appear the right way up. Once you are happy with the quality of the scan, push the blue acquire button. Repeat the procedure with the other eye, adjusting the focus if necessary. Once this is completed, tell the patient to sit back and push the green power button to turn off the camera. Look to your right. There will now be some examples of different pathologies. This first example is of a healthy eye. Notice the foveal dip in the center. Central serious retinopathy, or CSR, is a common disorder that affects the central area of your macula. This scan shows a buildup of fluid under the macula, which may create distortion and blurring of the vision. This scan shows a macular hole, which is commonly located at the fovea. In this scan, we can see a pigment epithelial detachment, or PED, showing a buildup of fluid beneath the retinal pigment epithelium, or RPE. Cystoid macular edema, or CMO, is where cyst-like areas of fluid cause retinal swelling. Drusen are yellow deposits under the retina. They are shown here as a regular presentation of the RPE. This scan shows an epiretinal membrane, a thin sheet of fibrous tissue that develops on the surface of the macula. VMT, or vitreo macular attraction, occurs when the vitreous, the gel-like substance in the eye, pulls abnormally on the retina. Thank you for watching this short introduction to OCT. Special thanks to the Radcliffe Science Library for the loan of the VR equipment, which made the making of this film possible.